that. Oh, so welcome. It's December 16th, 2016. I'm Loki Hates You, and this is going to be a stream that we're going to do right now. If you don't like it, sorry about your butt. That's the way it's going to go. Sometimes we stream, sometimes people don't want to talk about it. That's fine. That's your prerogative. That's your prerogative. That stream. <sighs> I hope everyone's doing all right tonight. I'm doing all right myself. Just went and saw a movie. I'm not going to talk about that movie because people have been getting real sensitive about that movie and people talking about it. So we're not going to talk about it. How's that sound? Perfect. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Okay. Hey, Zio. Hey, Monet. Hey, Helen. Hey, Cat. Hey, Red Star. Hey, Mephonix. Hey, Karen. Um, we are live. We're live, and we're here. Hey, Kristen. Um, I'm glad to see y'all here. Y'all. Glad to see, uh, hey, Carla. Hey, Jade. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's a late one tonight. I, uh, you know, I couldn't, uh, couldn't get out of there early. I actually, I mm, can't, I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, here we are. I just want to give it a couple minutes before I start opening stuff up because I know that's what people... People, because if I start opening stuff up and then people start joining later, they're like, "What did I miss?" And then I have to backtrack and tell them all again. And then, you know. Um. Eh, sorry, I got my buddy texting me. Who babysat? Babysat. Perfect. There you go. Um. Oh, happy birthday, Kristen. Hey, Mina. Hey, Candice. Hey, Alicia. Hey, 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 it's Kristen's birthday. Let's all celebrate. Hey, Sarah. Um, I hope Kristen had a good birthday. Hey, Amata. It was Amata's birthday recently, too, right? I think. Who knows? I don't. Can't do it. I just can't keep track of everything. Can't keep track of anything, as a matter of fact. I can't even track tracking numbers. People tried, somebody was trying to send me a tracking number earlier, and I'm just like, I can't get up in the morning, and from the morning until the moment I go to sleep, I'm just running around trying to do two or three tasks throughout the day. And uh, I'm easily distracted, so there you go. Uh, okay, so looks like we got a, a bunch of people here. Let's um, uh, let's Let's do it. Uh, hey, Jess. Jess something. You make me sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. It's you. You're the one that made that screen name. Birthday bees. All right. So let's open up uh, Let's open up a Christmas card I got in the P.O. box yesterday, I think. Or this morning. I saw Bobby today. I wasn't supposed to see Bobby, but I did. Um... Because I went in later in the day, and he just happened to have opened up his window because some, like, <laughs> kind of attractive older ladies were, like, coming in to sort out some stuff with their P.O. boxes, and uh, Bobby was just loving that. Oh, man, Bobby was working it. I stood there for, like, 15 minutes while Bobby just, like, I shouldn't be saying this just in case he ever watches the stream, but. Yeah, I went and said hi to Bobby. All right, so this is addressed to myself and to Steven, and it says, Hello, boys. I'm a fellow cosplayer. I go by the name of One One of Shadow is, their co is this person's cosplay name. I found you both this year and instantly fell in love. You both are absolutely amazing. Loki is definitely my favorite. I am prejudiced, I know. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't read this one. I'm not still on the other stream. I look forward to hopefully meeting you soon. Merry Christmas uh, to you both, and I will be sending you gifts soon. Um, I can't quite read the signature, but it looks like it's from... Uh, well, it's from One of Shadow Cosplay. 
I, w I would read the name, but I maybe they don't want me to read this. So, One of Shadow Cosplay. Let's go check out One of Shadow Cosplay on Facebook, see what we can find. One of Shadow Cosplay. I do not see it. Maybe I have to look on Instagram or something. Either way, thank you, One of Shadow, for sending that. Um, that was very nice. It's also sparkly, so now I have sparkles on me, which is a bonus. Bobby sounds like the silver fox of the post office. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Coming in the middle of a game, so I might be playing while the stream goes on. Mina, here's the thing about everybody wanting to, like, tell me what's going on with the stream. Like, I'm going to do the stream anyways. So if you want to play a game, that's certainly great. I, I appreciate you, you, you letting me know, but I don't really appreciate you letting me know because I don't have anything to do with that. You're going to play the game whether I like it or not. And it's not that I wouldn't like it. I don't. I love that you're playing a game. But, like, you took the time to type that. You could have just played your game. You don't, need to, you don't need to let me know. And it's the same thing with everybody who can't make it on any given night. They're like, oh, my God, listen. Had to make dinner for the kids, right? So I make dinner, all of a sudden, kids don't want to eat it. So now, I'm setting up a quick disciplinary sesh for the kids. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're bringing them around, smacking them about the ears and buttocks. And then, I gotta go back to my, my, my goddamn wife over here. She's yelling at me. So I, 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 I go and I, I, just, I just flip out on her as hard as I can. I'm going to tell you something. Couldn't make it to the stream tonight. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm trying here. I'm trying. You're scheduling these things. I don't know when. They pop up. I can't make it to it. I just can't make it to your goddamn stream. Now, I want to tell you this story right now because I think what, what you're invested in is whether or not I am at your stream. Because... Because what you need to know is whether or not I'm there. Me and the other 12 people that are commenting on this right now saying that my dog shit in a goddamn car. And I had to clean that up for 45 minutes. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Now it now it is, uh, it is 0 0.5 degrees in uh, Watusi, Indiana right now. And I'm, I'm chiseling frozen dog shit off the roof of my goddamn car. Now, what I'm trying to tell you right now is, I'm not going to make it to your stream tonight, buddy. I know you think it's important that I'm there all the time, but, uh, guess what? I got shit dripping off the rear view mirror of my automobile, and, and that's my livelihood right there. I got to make it to work tomorrow. I got to make it to work the day after that. And sometimes, the fellas like to join me for lunch. They get in the car, they see dog shit dripping off the goddamn side views, getting in the headrests. Now they gotta go home and wash their hair. How do you think their wives are gonna take that? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. I heard from Frank the other day. She found a little nugget of shit down his pants. And boy, oh boy, was that World War III. And I don't want to hear that. I, I, I like the boys at work. I like drinking, and I like going to the titty bar. And sometimes that means I can't make it out to your fucking stream. Why don't you just, why don't you just take that stream of yours and fucking swirl it around that sweet asshole and just drive it right down in there? Cause I don't got time for you. I don't got time for your bullshit, Bill. And then what do I do with that information? Because now, now I don't know. How to even respond, because you've told me this, like, intensely personal story about why you can't make it to the stream. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice you weren't there. I said hi to everybody I could while they were here. Selena's here now. I don't even think I've seen Selena before in my life. She could have been here every day for the past week and just never said anything. And that's the fucking thing, is that half you guys aren't even, like, saying anything, but you still need to tell me that you're not here on a given night. 
And like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even, wouldn't have even known. <clears throat> Whew. So, I'm glad that the, the few, the, the, the bunch of you, the many of you that are here, are here. To anyone who didn't make it tonight, I'm fucking sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? If you're in Canada, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to have it later than I usually. I wanted you all to be able to make it because I know you're invested and I know you want to be part of the community. Uh, and I mean, I'm trying, I'm try, I try to set aside a couple hours every day, every single day, so that we can stream and we can have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. tweets and stuff like that. But if you can't make it, just, you, that's a fucking question that's got to be answered from within. And you got to deal with that inner conflict on your own because I can't help you through it. I had someone tell me today that they uh, I have a phone, like their fucking phone is like a prepaid phone with like a shitty data plan. And they're like, so I haven't been able to watch your streams for the past few months. Tell me what happened. And I'm like, for, a, for a, like a, a long time, this was like, I gave her like 12 responses about like, because I thought she's asking me how to fix her phone to watch the streams. And I'm like, I don't know. Could be YouTube, could be your phone, could be your internet connection, could be a lot of things. I'm a cosplayer. You need tech support. And she's like, no, no. I wanted you to give me the highlights of what's happened in all the streams for the past two months. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't even know where to start. You're talking about like dozens of uh, days worth of streams, like li literal, actual, like sitting down for days and watching back-to-back -back streams. You could do that. I have enough streams that you could actually waste days of your life watching it. And you want the fucking highlights? I'm on a couch. I'm sitting on a couch, and I open up pres. I open up the like, gifts that you guys send me. You know what that is. You know what that looks like. And I appreciate the gifts. Don't get me wrong. Like, but there's truly nothing that I think is noteworthy happening in these streams, other than this occasional rant shit that I do. And that's hard to pinpoint. Like, that's hard to be like, well, I did a fucking thing about one time how boners smell or whatever. And it's like, oh, that was funny for about 15 seconds. You should go dig into an hour and a half long stream to find a two minute snippet of me talking about like uh, fucking f f what dog farts are like and shit. I don't know. opens packages. So this one came in through the P.O. box today. Uh, looks like it's just to me. And, uh, hey Jazzy, it's good to see you. Man, it's gotta be almost three o'clock in the morning for you over there. Um, this is from... Oh no! Oh no! The return address is promising something a little... Uh, I thought it felt very similar to something. Uh, Alright, so yesterday off the Amazon wish list, I got a board game, or a card game called Exploding Kittens. Today, through the P.O. box, I got Exploding Kittens. So, what's happening right now? Oh, this is the NSFW deck. Ooh. So this is actually a little different than the other one. It's got a kitten with a little... He's got his doinker all fucking blurred out right now. Um, 
I want to know is in the box. I just need to get the last of the X Men. Um, uh, I forgot I'm doing unboxings when I'm literally dying. I want to play that game. I love exploding kittens. Maybe we should make the videos ranting. Us. Jazzy, I literally am. I'm making the videos ranting. I'm doing that right now. I'm doing it right now. You're watching it happen. Somebody told me. Oh, fuck. What was it? Somebody was like. You should be a model. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm a little past my prime to be a male model. Like, and also, I'm not sure if I'm really in it for, like, I, I'm not really in the right proportion, shape, and fashion modeling doesn't sound good, even though that's, like, more, more appropriate for a skinny guy. And... They basically said, well, you should, no, it was like, there was three different phases of this. They were like, you should be a model. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. And they were like, well, you should do costume commissions where you make people costumes. And I was like, well, if I had made my costume, sure, I would be a very talented artist who could do that. But I didn't make my costumes. So like, I don't have that ability for you, for anyone to order like costume commissions. And they're like, Oh, well, maybe you should do cosplay modeling. And I was like, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Like, you're messaging me on a social media page that's just pictures of me in a costume taken by professional photographers. What do you call that? That you think that the next step is cosplay modeling? Like, you just need to make suggestions to me so badly that you want to tell me that I could start doing the thing I've already been doing for two years. And I mean, none of these people have bad intentions. None of any of the people I've mentioned in the past, whatever, half hour, have had bad, or 20 minutes, have had bad intentions about, they're just trying to be helpful and they're trying to be nice. But at the same time, like, I just get so frustrated because I, I don't, I don't know how to explain to people, like, you haven't put the pieces together. Like, you just, you saw a f social media page and you went, like, I got some advice for this guy. Like, 10, 10 seconds. I've been looking at this page for 10 seconds. Haven't browsed the photo gallery. Haven't fucking read any of the previous posts. Haven't done shit. I gotta tell you something that I'm gonna drop some knowledge on your cock right now. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a life changer. You should do cosplay modeling. You fucking think I should? Get out of my life. gonna snap I just I just need to I, I, I think the, you know there was actually someone who did make a suggestion months ago about like you guys should make a frequently asked questions section this is to both to Stephen and I and now I'm thinking that's what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go on tumblr and I'm just gonna make a thing of don't ask me how old I am uh, don't fucking ask me how I'm doing today. Don't ask me if we could be friends. Don't ask me this. Don't ask me that. Not frequently, like, frequently asked questions, yes, but f moreover, like, so frequently asked that I don't want to hear it anymore.
We're going to open one of Helen's gifts right now. Here's a little tiny Helen gift. I'm going to reach over and grab it. Here we go. Look at that guy. It's got a little bit of a shape to it. Ooh, nice weight. Well, here's the thing. Most of you guys have actually paid attention. Like, I don't want you to feel like a lot of this is directed at you, because a lot of you guys have been watching this shit for weeks or months or whatever, and you at least get the gist of, like, uh, you know, Bill's explored this territory with us at some point. And you've been following the Tumblr page, you've been following the Facebook page, you've been following all the stuff, so you just... Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do like the NSFW version. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Red Star. I'm, I just, I'm hesitant to open it because I don't know if it's the same game or if it's, if it can be added on to the other game, like if I can have both at once or if I should maybe keep this one and then... give the other one away, or if I should give the other one that I've already opened and then keep this one wrapped and give it to maybe Steven. I know what he would say. Jess, you just started. I don't blame you for anything. Um, uh, uh, I was watching your streams and I learned a lot. It wasn't even for a friend, I was so nervous, but in a good way. Yeah, Monet, there's nothing wrong with asking questions, and there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing malicious or wrong with asking a question that already exists, or even one that I'm sick of hearing, because you don't know. You don't know what I'm sick of hearing. Like, I'm kind of unpredictable like that sometimes. Not to say that I'm like, eh, I'm special, but like, sometimes shit, weird shit pisses me off, and that's not your fault. Like, that's me being moody and weird. Um... Fuck it, I'm gonna open this up. I wanna see what boob wizards look like. Sorry, Helen, I'm taking so long to open your gift, but I, I got off on a tangent. It was tangential. And, uh, and now we're gonna look at some of the Exploding Kittens cards. Uh, let's see. Ooh. There you go, okay. Players, two to five, contents, 56 cards, exploding kittens. Were the other ones red? I feel like the other ones weren't red. Could be wrong, though. Well, this one's got foul language in it already. Shuffle. Smoke some crack with a baby owl. Let's smoke this rock, motherfuckers, is what he's saying. Shuffle the draw pile. So that's an owl smoking crack, and uh, you smoke crack with him. Diffuse via nature documentaries. Put your last card back in the deck. So that's a kitten watching two tigers fuck on TV. Uh, eh, awaken the Narnope. Zombie cat. Stop staring. Can't go if you keep staring. Mama cat. Oh, that's actually what pretty good cat's name used to be is Mama cat. And here's a mama cat just shitting out, like, 50 kittens. Um, uh, I did create a list of pet peeves, but half of those were jokes. Um... um I think the problem might also be younger audiences that don't necessarily know how to do it. Yeah, I mean, sure, Kelly, you're exactly right. Like, could be young people. Could be people with a um, uh, socializing problem, you know? There's plenty of people out there who just aren't great, uh, do, who don't have the chemical combinations sometimes to really deduce what, what questions are going to be appropriate. And that's not, you know, that's not anything that's there liability, they just, you know, they're just asking the thing they're curious about, and that's fine. Uh, 
I'm going to read it. What in the depths of hell is the object of the game? The game is basically... Um, it's basically a three... A three... There's three types of actions. There's you die, you prevent yourself from dying, uh, you steal something from someone else, or you stop someone from preventing themselves from dying or stealing. Like, there's, there's like, those three actions. Um, uh, some of us are not the greatest social butterflies, socially inappropriate. Well, but the thing is, socially inappropriate... It's not something people should be ashamed... They should be shamed about. Like... Like, if you do something that's, um, if people are doing things that aren't easily palpable in a social sense, like, they don't need to be reprimanded, they just need to be like, you just need to be like, hey, yeah, I'm not really into this question, so I'm not gonna give you that much of an answer about it. But if you look for it, you can find the answer elsewhere, because I've already answered it 50 times. Um... Uh, la, 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 la. A favor. Teach someone a new palindrome. A butt tuba spelled backwards is still a butt tuba. One player must give you a card of their choice. And here's a good guy playing a butt tuba. How's that look to you? Crawl inside a goat butt and see many wondrous things. See the future. There you go. Yeah, so there's a lot of weird butt jokes. Uh, <laughs> shuffle. An asparagus bum dragon appears. And here's a dragon shitting out asparagus. It's a lot of butt jokes. Um, so what I'm gonna, I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out this NSFW version before I even test out the other version. And then I'll probably end up giving the, the other version to maybe one of my buddies, maybe even somebody that's in this uh, in this chat right now. Things I might not need to know or ever use. I've seen a Japanese show that people actually play a butt tuba. Wendy, go to school. You're grounded. Uh, these cards are great, but the lack of kittens is upsetting. There's more kittens. I just didn't show you half the kittens because all the butt jokes weren't actually kittens. Not what I was expecting when I heard the game exploding kittens, but this is good. Yeah, it's just weird art, and it's a very simple game. It's very, very simple. Like like I said, there's only three or four different actions you can do. But uh, it's fun. It's a fun little guy to do. All right, so we're getting back to Helen's gift. Pardon me if I gouge out my own eye with a fucking dull knife right now because I'm concentrating on my hair more than I'm concentrating on knife safety. Uh, so let's open Helen's uh, gifty gift here. I've circumnavigated like 80% of the tape. So it looks like we got dice! Oh, but wait a second. I've also got more dice! And even more dice! That was all in here. That was all in this little package. So we had... these pink? Oh, they're orange. They're orange and the light is weird in here. So that's 18 dice right there. These are the first orange ones I've ever seen. So that's all getting put in the Zombicide box. For anyone who's new uh, over the past couple of weeks, there hasn't been a lot of Zombicide stuff coming in, but... Um, there, there is a board game that I absolutely love, and it's called Zombicide, and it involves dice. And uh, there are a lot of custom-colored dice that you can get as collectibles for the game. And, uh, yeah, Helen is just on top of it. She's scouring the internet for every piece of Zombicide-related uh, memorabilia that... Um... So, Jazzy, what happens is... Uh, um... Oh man, tell Monet that I love that kitty, or tell Monet's kitty that I love that kitty. 
Um, don't lose one step. Oh, I know. Uh, so yeah, the dice. What we do is if there's usually like six players, I'll take the now immense collection of like probably 85 dice that I have. Or pro it's probably more like almost a hundred dice that I have, and I'll just give everyone 20 dice. I've got so many dice and the thing is like the amount of weapons and stuff that I have available it's possible that someone in the game may end up using 20 dice in a single roll or, or more yeah, sometimes you don't know um, I think Helen must have the zombicide market under her thumb yeah Helen is uh, Helen is fueling zombicide's economy it's now a small nation, and she uh, is single-handedly creating a, a, a reverse tariff where she's just making sure that their their currency is skyrocketing in value. Helen is the sole creator of Zombicide. I think that's a little much, Jazzy. I think you're... I, I think uh, you're um, confusing creation with purchasing when you buy something you didn't create it I don't want to take credit away from the creators of the game yeah Monet it's a it's a game uh, where uh, six possibly more possibly less people uh, fight the game as a cooperative effort so oh uh, no my phonics go tell Emma that we love her um Okay, we've got one more thing to open up. I think it's going to be kind of a stubby stream tonight. We've already gone for 33 minutes, but I'm just I'm losing losing wood fast here. Uh, so let's uh, uh, so this one here. Oh, it's from Brandy. Brandy sent this here. This guy. She even got her name on the. On the thing. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, Jazzy. I like how Jazzy just like takes all of the kind of raunchy vernacular phrases that I use and like repeats them so that everyone can like catch the joke. And it's like, you don't have to spell it out for everyone, they know what I'm talking about. Uh,. Don't worry, I'm sure you restore your wood in the morning. Morning wood. All right, it's a morning wood joke. Very subtle, Mika. Uh, hashtag St. Helen Mount. Okay. So, in this box, we have... We have... Uh, Packaging material. Package. More packages. And the packages. More package. And more bubbles. So many of those. My friends know they won't be paying attention. Yeah, Stephanie, it's uh, it's been an interesting evening. You're gonna want to go back and watch this one if, if uh, morning wood is is your deal, um, because we've we've gone we've gone over a lot of subjects tonight. Ooh, let's see what Brandy wrote. You can learn more about your gifts. Start a return. <laughs> That's not what Brandy wrote. Brandy wrote nothing, which is fine, because you know what? Brandy and I talk all the time anyways, so maybe she doesn't need to say a lot, and I already know what she's thinking every minute of the day. Um, yeah, Monet, I used to pop them whenever I got them, but it's too late at night to do that, so I'm just probably just going to run a knife along them and deflate them all at once. Okay. So, inside the box was another box wrapped in gold. 
with a card that says nothing. <laughs> so we're going to undo the stuff. And what we have here is a failure to communicate. But beyond that, what we have is a board game called Betrayal at House on the Hill. And this game is nuts. Hold on a second, I have someone who's having an emergency room. Um, so this game is crazy pants balls. I played it once, and what it does is you're inside of, uh, you're, you're a team of players, uh, a cooperative team of players, inside a house on the hill. And you start out just basically trying to figure out what's going on with this house. And you find out that you're locked inside the house. You can't leave. So... Turns progress, and uh, what happens is the house becomes haunted in, in its own way. Something terrible happens, and the game, this game, turns against you. Oftentimes, uh, the house becomes infested with the monsters, or zombies, or ghosts, or whatever. But other times, it actually turns one of the players that is in your party against all the other players. And you end up having to figure out how to survive and get out of the house with however many players are left. Uh, and you probably... somebody's going to die. Like, there's a good chance that one of your players is going to die. There's a good chance that... Uh, you're going to lose somebody and they're going to turn to the dark side if they're bitten by a zombie or if they're in, uh, uh, possessed or something like that. So, it's crazy. Uh, but I really look forward to playing this one again. Although, I'm going to have to really read the rules um, pretty thoroughly because I think they're very... They're, the, the, the rules change so much that it's hard to really get a grasp on like uh, how to play it consistently. Oh, poor Emma. Sorry about it, uh, that. Uh, one day I totally want to play Cards Against Humanity. All those big air pocket things you can get back, Emma. Every time she goes, you know, want soups on. Monet, don't be jealous. Quelf? Jazzy, no one's talking about quelfing. Um. Who is saying there are 50 total stories you can do in that game? Yeah, so there's 50 different rule sets depending on what happens. Um, yeah, House on Haunted Hill. I think that's kind of the brainchild behind it, uh, behind the name at least. Uh, yeah, Stephanie, I highly recommend it. I mean, I had a lot of I had a lot of fun playing it the one time I did play it, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it now. Uh, hey, Bobby boy. Good to see you. I hope, uh, I hope that you got some sleep since last time I saw you. You know the game, like the back of my hand, you need help, I'd love to explain stuff. Jazzy, no one's going to believe you. Hello, Vincent. Welcome to the chat. Where's Vincent? Yeah. Welcome, Vincent. Vincent Adonis. Ooh, so sexy. Let's see what that Let's see what that uh, icon looks like. Finn the human and Jake the dog? Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Um, so, yeah. Now you've learned uh, about what this board game is that I just got in the mail. So thank you to Brandy for that. Also, thank you to Brandy for sponsoring the P.O. box that all the other gifts came in through. Including Exploding Kittens NSFW version. And the lovely Christmas card that we got. Look at that guy. Oh, he's a little bear. He's a little bear baby. And he's, you can't see the sparkles on the bottom, but they're there, those sons of bitches. Trying to get in my brain. Trying to get in my mouth like my wife. You're right. Oh, God. <sighs> 
Jazzy, I know that there's a game called Quelf. Oh, and the other thing that came in was uh, Helen's Dice. I almost forgot these because they were so smooth. Sis me. Uh, uh, my red and my orange and my yellow dice. It's kind of a progression. It's like Halloween y, uh, fall ish, you know? Red, orange, and yellow. Um, so, Wendy Zoo says, LOL. And that's how tired I am, is that I'm now narrating what you guys are saying. Man, that ranting took a lot out of me. Oh. So, I think at some point tomorrow I'm going to write up that don't bother me with this bullshit list on Tumblr. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of the don't ask me how I'm doing uh, question thing. I've been sending that to people. When they say, how are you doing? I literally just send them a link to that. And then they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, don't be sorry. Just think of something else to say. That's all. Uh, so tomorrow's going to be that. Um, but I don't know. I am... I'm tired as hell. I want to say more about how my night went tonight, but I don't want to get off in that conversation right now. Uh, you should write out what not to send list to. Well, Mephonics, um, what not to send. I really don't want to send that, because people should send what they want to send. Like, obviously nothing dangerous, and nothing malicious, and nothing hurtful. But like, you know, if you want to send some fucking fan art, or something that you made and you want me to show on the, the podcast, like, I'm happy to show people what you made, or whatever. Like, that's cool. I might not keep it. Uh, I may end up giving it away to con or... Uh, giving it away to one of my friends, or whatever I end up doing with it. I'll try not to throw it away. I mean, but you send what you want. How would you like your day to be? It's like I think I, I think someone saw SW. What does that mean? And 3 a.m. I'm going to see Star Wars tomorrow. Hello. Well, I hope, Kelly, you do have a good night. Amada. Actually, I'm not putting out the list until Amada asks her question, as a matter of fact. So, Amada, you're going to have to ask your question first, and then I'm going to have to... And then I'm going to have to just uh, make the list, because that's how we're going to play this right now. I don't want you holding out on me, either. So, when I hear things like, I'm going to wait until you do something for me to do something, that makes me not want to do the something I was going to do, and it makes me want you to do something. Get it over with, Amada. Unless it has to do with Steven and I, and then you can ask it tomorrow. During uh, one of the... Uh... Or, I mean, you can PM it to me. If it's, if it's a private question and you want me to answer it in private, that's a totally different thing. Um, I can always answer a question privately for you. I don't want you to get the wrong idea about that either. I still have to clean up my room and put my love seat in later today for moving furniture around. I almost said something but people would think I'm trying to be jazzy. <laughs> She'd always be jazzy, jazzy. Uh, um... It's a bit long-winded. We'll ask it tomorrow during one of the broadcasts. Or type it all out and send it to me on Tumblr, and, uh, or Twitter, or Facebook, and I'll, I'll address it during the, during the thing. But yeah, tomorrow's gonna be weird anyways, because I gotta do the Known in the Six broadcast with Steven, so... So there you go. Would you guys prefer that I did unboxings during... Well, I guess it, I have to do it during 6 o'clock, because I don't have the packages in until... Four or five in the afternoon. 
Yeah, Red Star, that NyQuil is fucking vicious. I was doing that for a couple of days, and man, you sleep like a goddamn meteorite just plummeting towards the nearest fucking gravitational source. Like, I, I, you just don't sleep ever as well as you do when you're on, on NyQuil. And I don't want to get people started on, like, NyQuil stories, but... Oh, boy! It knocks you on your ass hard. Yeah, I think Jazzy makes a good point. I don't bite. I might be a little snide from time to time, but I ain't mad at you. Uh, I'm tempted to skip work tomorrow so I can hear Amada's question. Well, it's always going to be recorded so you can watch it later. Uh, Carlos, NyQuil doesn't work on me. That's a shame. NyQuil's one of science's greater contributions to mankind. <laughs> I love NyQuil. I got codeine cough medicine for the bronchitis. That, was, that shit was magic. <laughs> yeah, prescription drugs are a hell of a drug. Uh, it's okay, you can watch it later, guys. You can watch that shit later. Okay. 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 Well. Here's the point. Where. I say goodnight to everyone. Because my back hurts. My neck hurts. My dick hurts. My dick doesn't hurt. But my back and my neck hurts. I'm just waiting for Amada to say. That <laughs> dick hurts. Um. Cody doesn't touch me. I've got tramadol. Helen, I feel like all the all the drugs and products that you mentioned over there in the UK uh, are different than the ones we have here. Uh, have a good night, especially you, Vincent, because you've been a, such a great new guy being in there. I don't even know if your name is Vincent or if that's just your screen name. But, uh, thanks for coming and stopping by. I hope you didn't find it too weird, but I'd advise going back to the beginning of the... This was a very expository stream from the beginning, so if you found this a little hard to understand, try waiting ten minutes and then watching it from the beginning once it's posted up to YouTube. So, you guys have a good night. I'm going to my bed, and I'm going to look at my cat for a while, and just look her in the face and say, what are you doing with your butt? And she's going to say, I'm nothing, and I'm going to say, that's nice. So good night, everybody. Love you, miss you, bye.